Hi, I'm Arlen Geyer. Today I want to demonstrate uh, creating a custom white balance on your camera. And I'm going to be doing this using a Canon camera since that's the brand that I use. The concept is pretty similar on most brands. Uh, there may be little differences, but um, hopefully this will give you an idea how it works. To do this, I'm going to create a little still life and uh, I'm going to use this little sculpture here and I uh, need a place to put it that's going to be uh, nice. I think I'll open up this desk here and um, put it on here. Something like that. But I kind of like to have a nicer background for it rather than having this here. So actually I'm going to move that aside and have a piece of a little piece of seamless paper here. So we're going to put this up and move that down there and you know, put that there and maybe put that there. And that's looking pretty good. And see it's got this nice curve in it here so it makes a soft transition from the horizontal to the vertical. And um, maybe angle that a little bit like that. That looks pretty good. And um, the light sources I've got in here, I've got this uh, compact fluorescent bulbs overhead here. I've got a uh, more traditional, actually I've got two uh, old fashioned um, incandescent bulbs over here. Um, another compact fluorescent over there in a, in a globe kind of thing. There's some windows behind me. So there's all kinds of different light. And so the problem is that, um, that the, it's not likely that there's a, a white balance setting in the camera that's going to really hit exactly the uh, color of light that I've got here. So I've got my camera here and um, turn it on and uh, I'll sit over here and take a look at what I've got the situation and yeah it's looking pretty good. I need to lower this down a little bit here. Got something I can use there. Let's see, I've got a wallet here, so I don't have this little lip on the front here, so I can get a nice clean shot in from the front there. And now, the key to using the custom setting on your white balance is you need to have a gray card or a white card. Gray works better than white, actually, for this. Um, but um, what your goal is is to put your gray card, here's my gray card, put your gray card right in exactly the light that you're going to be shooting in, and, um, and take a picture of it where you're filling the frame with the gray card. And that's kind of important because the camera's gonna use that shot of the gray card to calibrate the light. So I'm gonna just put this gray card right here. And if I sit here, you notice that my shadow falls on that and I don't want that. So I'm gonna to have to get out of the way, uh, way over here. Um, in order to take this so that I don't get any shadows. And I just want to take a picture, um, get my meter to say that the exposure is correct. So pointing the meter at the gray card, I'm going to get the meter uh, getting the right exposure, which I have right now in manual. And right now I'm at um, a 30th of a second at f4.5, which sounds just fine to me. So now I'm going to uh, if you have your camera on autofocus, then it may have trouble taking the picture because it's not going to find anything to focus on. So what I'll do actually is aim it up here um, to give it something to focus on and then I'll tilt the camera down and fill the frame with the gray card and take the picture. And I'm doing this with the lens zoomed way in to a very telephoto setting so that I can easily fill the frame with the gray card. I'm going to zoom it out some to get the actual shot. But now the next thing I'll do is go to the menu and in the menu in, on this camera you probably can't see this but on this camera there are these various settings and it's actually in the second uh, menu listing here. Uh, one of the options is custom WB, custom white balance. And so I'm going to just press the set button with it there. And the default is that it's going to actually show me the last picture I took, which was the picture of the gray card. And it says up here, 
It's got this funny little symbol, which is the custom white balance symbol, and then it says set. So I press the set button, and it says use WB data from this image for custom white balance. And I click slide the uh, thing over to OK, and press the set button again. And now it says set WB to that funny little symbol. On this camera, the white balance adjustment is up on the top. On some of them, it's a dial in the back. And now I'm just going to scroll that around until I have to find it. Where's the custom setting? There it is. Okay, so now I've got this um, pointing on the custom setting, and I'm ready to take the shot. So I'm going to use a tripod to do this. Bring the tripod over here. Okay. And now get focused correctly. There we go. And actually I'm going to change it because it's a kind of squirrely situation. I'm going to set this on a two second delay okay I've got to set on a two second delay so that I, will, I can push the button and then be not touching the camera when the shutter goes off there we go now there's my picture and I'm also going to do one of these on a uh, more normal white balance setting just so you can see the comparison so now I'm going to change my white balance. Say I'll take this off of the tripod to do this. I'm going to set the white balance on. I'm going to set it on daylight for this one. Set that on there. And everything should be all set still. It is so. Got that picture. Okay, so. That's how you do this, and hopefully it'll be similar on your camera. Here are the three shots. The gray card first, and then the sculpture with the custom white balance, and then finally the sculpture with the uh, daylight white balance. So on the gray card shot, it doesn't matter what white balance setting your camera is set to because the camera is going to adjust to make that be gray uh, anyway. So it doesn't matter what white balance you use in the camera. I believe I had it set on auto. And you can actually see quite a difference between that uh, and the, the daylight white balance setting. But you can also see that the auto setting was nowhere near neutral. And, uh, you, can, and you can also see that the custom white balance setting is in fact quite neutral. And so the camera was able to use the, in, the color information from the gray card and make a, a compensation chart, as it were, to uh, figure out what needed to be adjusted in order to turn that into gray. And then it used that you know, to use as its white balance uh, adjustment in making the next photograph. So as long as you get the uh, light the same in those two images, your final photograph is going to come out looking correct. Now this one, uh, if we take a look here, actually I'm going to go into the develop module and uh, although this was with uh, the daylight setting, we can see what this would look like uh, if we change the Lightroom setting say to uh, tungsten, which is pretty much what that light was. And you can see that e even there, that's quite different from the custom setting. You can see that it is not uh, that accurate and th none of the others are going to be that accurate either. If we try, for example, fluorescent, it's going to be worse. Or if we try daylight, of course, it'll be what we, what we started with. And cloudy and all these, they'll all be terrible. Lightroom does have a quite good auto setting. So here's Lightroom's auto. And if we compare that with the other one, you can see that they're close, but this one still has a bit of a warm cast to it. The custom setting is very neutral because the custom setting used a gray card to determine what was going to be gray. 
So ultimately, uh, the custom setting is going to give you the most accurate results of any white balance setting as long as you do your uh, test shot uh, in exactly the right light and with a perfectly neutral subject. So there you go. That's how you use the custom white balance setting.